Hey guys, it's me, Skylar Capri, and today I'm going to be doing a What's in My Dive Bag Winter Edition. So, as many of you know, or I've been saying in my last few videos, um, I am diving, so that is a new sport I've picked up. Um, I am taking a break from swimming because recently I've had a few problems with my shoulder and the doctor thinks it's best if I take a little break from swimming. However, I will still continue to be making swim videos and a whole bunch of Joe Lynn and what's my swim bag gear, all that stuff, and my guide to swimming series will still be running. Um, I just wanted to let you know that because normally I would be filming drills at practice, but I've been out of practice for a while. But if you would like to see me diving, um, please leave a comment down below telling me so. And um, just to clarify, um, what's wrong with my shoulder is um, the rotator cuff, when I do the motion of like going around for free or back, or especially breast when I'm pulling back to um, for my catch, um, that's what really agitates it. So by diving, it's not going to agitate it, and it's going to give me a bit of a break so that I could eventually go back if I wanted to. So just to clarify that, this is why this is a what's in my dive bag, but it will be branded as a what is in my dive slash swim bag, but I will not have the gear, like the snorkel and the kickboard and all that stuff with me. So let's get started. So many of you guys know what my bag already looks like because I've made like 25 million videos on it, but it's okay. Um, I just have the Speedo 35 liter Teamster and it is red and I love it. So we are going to start in this pocket right here. So, and this pocket is a pocket that zips all the way, whoops, come on, it zips all the way down and it opens up. So let's see what I have in here. First I have tissues. Okay. And then I have a pink cap. I have a whole bunch of caps, latex, for some meats. And I have a glasses cleaner for my goggles. But I don't know where my goggle cleaner is. So my goggle cleaner is normally in this pocket, but right now it is not. So that's what's in that pocket. Um, I like putting goggles and caps in there because it's easy to find, I can get it for practice, and I'm not rooting through the huge section for it. So then down here we have a mesh pocket where normally you put wetsuits, wet towels, goggles, caps, any of that good stuff. I don't have anything in here right now because my last practice was on Thursday, so I took all that stuff out. But now onto this pocket, this speedo sign is really dirty. I don't know if you can tell, but it is really, really dirty, so sorry about that. In this pocket, I have two Sharpies for writing all over my hand. I have a lock for a locker. Of course, I have a highlighter for the heat sheets, but even for dive meets, they still have dive sheets, so these will both come in handy. I have a few hair ties in here because you always need hair ties and I have one of those little um, mirror brush thingies in here so that is what is in that pocket all right now on to this pocket. So this is just where normally I keep my water bottle, but since I'm storing my swim bag in my room, I don't have a water bottle in here because it's kind of gross. And the last practice I had was Thursday, so that would be disgusting and I'd have to throw it out anyway. So now on to this pocket. And normally I keep my phone in here, but my phone is charging right now, so it's not in here. First I have a little um, key pass for my facilities. I think I have, yep, a bunch of headbands and hair ties and whatever else is in here. I actually need to clean that out because I've been looking for my black headband and a bunch of hair ties, so that was in there. And I like putting those in there because if my hair tie snaps or breaks and I'm trying to put my cap up, I can easily reach in there, get it out of the pocket. It's perfectly fine. All right, and now on to the big pocket. So basically, how this big pocket works is there is a little section inside. 
I don't know if you can tell. And then there's a bigger section. So, starting on the top, I have a broken dockle strap. Awesome. And then I have just a pair of sweatpants for when I get out of practice. Because as the colder months are coming, it gets really cold outside. And I have wet hair, so that is why I have these gray sweatpants. And then I have a suit. I have a Jolin in here. All of you guys know that I love Jolins. Um, this is the Jackson 2. This is a size 26. Oh, I might have ordered the wrong size. Oh, that's... That's okay. Um, this is a size 26, and it looks like this. Um, I did get a comment saying, uh, can you make a video tying the suits? Yes, that will be coming up. And yeah, I don't know where I was going with that, but yes, that will be um, coming up shortly. But yeah, so I have this. If you guys would like to see a what I'm asking for Christmas video or like, what, to, what swimmers ask for Christmas or like anything like that, leave a comment down below because I think it would be fun to go on the JoLynn website and maybe even do a live stream about what suits I'm like looking at and which ones I think are cute and like which one you guys think are, thinks are cute. Then we can kind of like talk and stuff because we're all JoLynn obsessed on this channel. So yeah. Oh, and this is in Cabernet in case you were wondering. And then I have a grocery bag to put wet so then, I have a pair of Nike shorts. I have to do a video on my Nike shorts collection because I'm kind of obsessed with Nike shorts. I have like five million different prints and stuff. I have, oh, there's the other one. I have two socks. I have a anti-fog lens, lens cleanser from Tear or TYR. I have a little toiletry bag right here, and in here we have a washcloth, some deodorant, which I think is broken, uh, shampoo, um, the conditioner with the shampoo, and a little um, bar soap thingy. So that is when, after practice, I go into the locker room and shower. I like to have this with me in case I want to do a full shower. But normally, I just like to wash my hair, go home, so that my hair is dry on the way home, and just wash my body when I get home. Because I don't take my suit off. Next, then I have a towel. Uh, and then I have a Gushers wrapper. Very healthy after a snack. Um, I have another grocery bag and another grocery bag. We are... Love the grocery bags. I have a Welch's fruit snack pack, which is not empty, so that's awesome. And do I have a granola bar? In every once in a bag, you gotta have at least a granola bar, and I have a granola bar. I think that is it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, and I have my nose clip. Um, if you'd like to see a video on swim gear and specifically going like through each type of swim gear, like nose clip, kickboard, like pool boy, like all that stuff, let me know um, and I can certainly do that. But I have my nose clip in here, which is a blessing and a curse at the same time because I don't really like these, but they they help. So, so that is all is in my winter dive swim bag. Um, this is going to be a pretty long video because my videos are normally like four or five minutes, but this one's like nine minutes, so I'm gonna do this outro very quickly. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, leave those comments down below saying what videos you want to see. Um, once again, I did see the suggestion for how to tie your JoLynn's. I can do it where I'm tying it myself and then I'm having someone else tie it for me because at practice, like on the way there, I tie it myself because we do dry land and I like it looser. And then I have my friends tie it suffocatingly tight because I love when my suits are like really tight. I don't know, but um, yeah, so. And that is all that was in my winter dive slash swim bag in case you're wondering and yeah i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys